Hey guys, it's uh, Marcelo from uh, Reef Catalyst LED and uh, Hampton Roads Reef Club. What's going on? So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm about to be giving up this uh, PAR meter. It's the Apogee 200 series PAR meter. Uh, but before I do, we're going to get a quick reading off of these uh, RC Crease 72s. A lot of people have been asking about them, but just giving you a heads up. All, all the crease are pretty much the same. So, whether you're going with a 144 or if you're going with a 72, um, it's going to be putting out the same, uh, same par, PAR readings. The only difference is the footprint. Um, obviously the 144 is going to be, have a better footprint than the 72s are and uh, of course as, as you can see right now I have three 72s on my tank right now. Uh, basically uh, not only did uh, uh, my customers buy all my RC, my Cree, uh, RC Cree 144s in the boxes but they basically took them off my tank too so uh, we have a couple of units of inventory of the RC Cree 72s. Uh, we do have some uh, uh, RC, uh, RC Cree 144s coming in probably by next week. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check out uh, ReefCatalystLED.com or, or send me an email at uh, ReefCatalystLED at gmail.com. So let's get some PAR readings here. Taking a look, turning on the power. We set it up for sun. And uh, coming all the way down to the rock work. Let's take a look here. Let's try to find center. We're looking at about 470, 480 par, right about uh, where the center of the tank is. So let's go a little deeper. Okay, let's go where this uh, where this uh, torch coral, branching torch coral is, and we're looking at about 270s. Now I think this is a uh, 24 or 28 inch tank, and we're we're uh, almost at the very bottom now. We're at we're at actually we're at uh, about 285 to 90, depending on the position of the of the sensor. So let's go a little lower and pray to God that my Clarky doesn't draw blood. He likes to do that. He's a pretty vicious guy. Let's hope I don't get stung by this uh, torch coral. So we're almost at the very bottom right now. We're looking at about. Still at about 215, 220 on the par par readings. As you can see, oh, oh, he doesn't like it. Go away, buddy. About 230. So I'm gonna try to go a little bit lower. See if I can still give you an accurate par reading. So I basically almost hit bottom in my tank, and uh, yep, pretty much hit bottom. And we're looking at about 204, 206 on the par meter with the RC Cree 72s. So if you guys are wondering if uh, these uh, RC Cree 72s are going to be able to potentially grow uh, acros and SPSs all the way down there, definitely. But uh, again, like I said, uh, one thing you have to consider is, uh, you know, par is par. And there's many other factors that, uh, that involve growing uh, LPSs, SPSs, and softies. Always look at your coral and see how they're reacting. If you're putting out all this uh, par and you're bleaching your coral, you're probably giving, giving them too much. And if you do want to put off that kind of par, you might want to acclimate them. Me, myself, I don't like going for this 10K look. And uh, my coral are pretty happy. Uh, for the most part, I probably go around 4 and 16K. So, again, it's up to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Or uh, check out my website. Uh, again, my name is Marcelo from uh, Reef Catalyst LED and uh, Hampton Roads Reef Club. Uh, make sure to support your local stores. I got some of these uh, units in inventory over at uh, Atlantic Sea Farms. You can ask for Jimmy. Or go over and uh, uh, check out Leroy's shop at Fish Safari. He's doing really great selling these units. And we also have uh, uh, Davis Jasper at, uh, at AquaCare. And they can definitely get you some units as well. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll look at probably having some more tutorials later on in the week, if not uh, if not next week. So uh, you guys take care. Happy reefing. Hope you enjoyed the show. You guys take care.